Okay, so today's video is a get ready with me. Um, I don't really film these videos, but like, because I always rush, I have filmed like two before. Um, but I'm getting ready for like a festival kind of thing. So I'm gonna include my hair, hopefully, if I'm like not rushing, my makeup. And I think that's all because I'm not sure if I wanna show my outfit. I, I really want to, but like, we'll see. Anyways, I'm in like a big, well, not big rush, and can't tell how I love it. Um, but I'm just gonna like try to hurry up because I'm meant to be ready in like an hour, and it usually takes me like an hour and a half, like two hours to film. So we're just gonna really like chop chop. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking my concealer to prime my eyes. So I'm taking the Revolution Conceal and Define, and this is in C7. And I'm just gonna be applying that all over my lid. So I am getting ready for like a, I don't know if we call it a festival, but it's like a D, I'm going to like a DJ kind of thingy set, I don't know. Um, and it's in St Kilda like in Melbourne. It's also really, really hot in here, so I feel like I'm gonna sweat my makeup off. So now I'm taking the um, Face of Australia powder, translucent powder, and I'm just gonna quickly set my eyelid just with this like, elf, it's a highlighter brush, and I love using this just to set the eyelids. I kind of don't wanna make this too chatty, but like this is my first video of 2019, which is so crazy. So, I really do wanna film a makeup look just using this palette, but today I'll just be using a few shades out of it, I think. Um, so, I'm going to take the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette, and this is the Sapphire one. Um, so, this is what the shades look like. So, so pretty. But the first thing I'm going to do is take this shade here. So, like the lighter shade. And I'm going to put this in my crease on a big Morphe M504 brush. Place this into my crease. So I just did my friend's eye makeup and I literally am doing the exact same makeup as her because, I don't know, it looked so good and I was so inspired and I really wanted to film it. So I was just like, you know what, I'm going to just do the same. Um, I'm not building it up too much, like I could definitely build that up a little bit more but it doesn't really need to be because I'm gonna add a darker shade as well. And I am doing a kind of rounded look. Um, Cause I feel like that's just what suits my eye a lot more. So now what I'm gonna do is just quickly go into my Stacey Marie palette. And I'm gonna take the shade Sky, which is a really similar color. It's this color here. And I'm just gonna go on top of that just a little bit. Alright, so now the next shade I'm going in with is this dark blue shade here. Do these not have names? No. I'm just going in with this shade here on a Models Prefer crease brush. And I'm just going to start patting this on the outside. So, what I'm doing for my hair is I'm just going to stick my extensions in and the extensions I use I'll go into more detail about. And then I'm just going to blend that out on a big fluffy brush. So now I'm going back into my Stacey Marie palette and I'm going to take my favourite shade now it's the shade Mood, which is just like a really dark navy blue. Um, and I'm going to just apply it on the same brush, just to see if it will make any difference. No, it's pretty much the exact same as the other shade. I'm going to actually deepen it up further with like a black. So I'm going to take my Makeup Geek Individual Eyeshadow in Corrupt. It's probably one of the blackest black eyeshadows I've used. And yeah, I'm going to just apply this down here. Look, I feel like that just made like a huge difference. I don't want this to be rushed, but I am like trying to hurry up a little bit. So, so now that I have done that, I think that's all I'm going to do. I don't know if I want to do a cut crease. 
but I feel like it's gonna look so much better, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take the same concealer as before, the Makeup Revolution, and I'm just putting some on the back of my hand, and I'm just gonna do a cut crease with it. Now I'm using the Morphe M167, but I will go in between this brush and a smaller, like, I don't know if you can see, like shader brush which is also by Morphe, this is the M421. And then what I always do is I tap on the outside where the concealer and the like eyeshadow on the outside meet and I just tap, tap, tap. Then what I do is I get the brush that I use to apply like that dark shade and I'll just go over it a little bit so it's not as harsh. And it just looks a little bit like more blended, I guess. And I feel like that cut crease literally took like two minutes which is so rare for me so for the lid shade I'm actually going to be using a pigment and then I think I might use something on top I'm not too sure yet so the pigment I'm going to be taking is the down under cosmetics um, pigment and this is in southern sky so it just looks like that just a really pretty blue shade I will be using another um, down under pigment as well in the video um, for my inner corner so I'm gonna be applying this but I'm gonna mix it in with the glitter fixer gel by Barry M so it just becomes like almost like a paste so I'm just gonna squeeze it on the back of my hand um, and then the brush I'm going to be using is the Morphe, no, it's the DB eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to dip into the gel first and I'm going to apply that onto my concealer, my lid. And then I'm going in with just a random like flat brush and I'm just going to dip into it and just press it down. So that's what the eyes look like. This one is a bit higher, but I always go higher on this eye because, I don't know, I think my eyelids just do that. On top of that, I'm gonna go in with the other down under pigment and then I'm gonna add it to my inner corner. As I said, the pigment is another down under and it's in Satin Storm. So they actually have two um, reflective pigment lines, if that makes sense. So they have the satins and they have diamonds and I do have a diamond, but the diamonds are just a little bit more thicker and chunkier than the satins, but they do have like reflective colors as I said. So they have green, pink, purple, this one is blue. You won't be able to tell unless you guys can see the little thing, a little bit there. Um, they have blue, yeah, gold, and they also just have like a white. So this one is blue, that's why I'm going to be adding it as an inner corner, but I'm going to see how it looks on top. Oh, there you go, you guys can definitely see that. So it's just got like a reflective. So I'm just gonna take the same brush I used to apply the blue and I'm just gonna get any type of setting spray and just spray my brush and I'm gonna dip into it and I'm just gonna tap on top of it. It didn't really make much of a difference but it definitely like lightened it up. So that's all for the um, eyes, like the eyeshadow, the top half. I'm going to add that as an inner corner later, but now I'm going to move on to like lashes and eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm just going to use my Astralis Make Me Matte Eyeliner. It's honestly like my favorite eyeliner. So I'm just going to be applying this, hopefully doing a thin line. So this is my first time using this brand of lashes, so hopefully they look good. Um, but this is by a brand called Vision Cosmetics, and these are mink lashes. And this one here are in the style Stunner. That's what they look like. They are so fluffy. I kid you not. They look like the fluffiest pair I'm probably ever going to use. Okay, so I couldn't find my scissors, so I just got kitchen scissors. 
really random. What the hell? Oh my god. Of course. They probably could fit, but I always cut my lashes short just in case they um, irritate my eyes, which sometimes happens. So for lash glue, I'm using the Duo Lash Glue. Um, and I'm going to apply the glue first to the lashes. And then in the meantime, while I'm waiting for them to dry, I will coat my eyelashes. And then I'll also um, prime my face. To coat my lashes, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using the Bad Girl Bang by Benefit. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. For primer, I'm going to use the Marc Jacobs primer. Um, just because I want this makeup to stay on really, really well. Oh my god, it like dried up. That's gross. This feels so hydrating. So I might put another primer um, like in my T-zone. This feels really good on the skin. Like so smooth. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the lashes. I'm gonna move on to the face now. So I'm gonna zoom you guys out. So those are the like eyes done and I'll do my um, eyebrows soon. Stupid baby hairs that I cut. Um, for foundation, I'm gonna mix. So I'm using the Huda Beauty foundation. I absolutely love this. Um, I have worn this foundation before. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this. This is in Baklava in 340 and then I'm going to mix it in with 06 sand beige. I am a bit tanned at the moment So I don't know if I might add six or nine So yeah, we'll just see how we go. All right, so I'm just gonna apply it with the Morphe M439 This is the Real Techniques Beauty Blender as well, if you guys were wondering. You probably weren't, but it's really, really good. Um, now I'm gonna add concealer, and I want to brighten. So I'm gonna use a shade, or two shades lighter. Um, I'm using the same concealer, just in C5. So Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution. I will also be cream contouring using my um, Makeup Revolution foundation stick. And now the cream contour. So this is in F13 and I highly recommend this shade if you um, have like an olive complexion, I guess. Or even for fair people, I actually use it on my clients as well. And I just like only put a little bit. I start off like with a little and then I build it up heaps. But for me, I just like full apply it and go heavy hand. Alright, so I just do that really roughly and then I'll go in with my foundation brush and just blend it all out. You can see I also look really glowy. I don't know if that's from the coconut primer, but I feel like it is. Um, but I'm going to bake everything and set it in place. I'm taking um, the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Setting Powder. I only got this recently and I've been like really liking it. And that's what it looks like. I love how it's got that little kind of stopper thing. Um, and then to set the rest of my face, I'm taking the Savvy um, Natural Finish Press Powder. Um, I'm going to now move to my eyebrows. And I'm using a mixture of, actually I'm just going to use this, <laughs> this is my like favourite thing ever. It's the BH um, Pro Palette. I love using this so much. So I'm just going to leave my brows like that. I don't really want to touch them too much just because they'll go to shit. 
Um, but now I'm going to move on to my lower lashes. So I'm going to take the Savvy Smoky Eyeliner. It's literally my favorite and I have two backups of this. And I'm just going to put this in my waterline and tight line. Um, and while I'm at eyeliner, I'm just going to go over my top lash line. doesn't really need to be, but it's fine. I feel like this makeup look is really similar to like the Mermaids one I did, but there's no like purple, it's all like blue on the lid. So now I'm going back into the Huda Beauty palette, and I'm just going to take the dark blue shade, the one we used on the outside, this one here, and apply it to my little lash line. Now that I've done that, I'm going to take the inner corner highlight, so as I said, down under cosmetics in Satin Storm. And I'm going to get like a fluffy, like a small fluffy brush. Just looks like that. I did use it before. And I'm just going to spray my brush. Oh my god. I'm going to shake. Zoom you guys in so you can see that. So that is it for the eyes besides the brow bone, but we're going to do that with the face. So I'm going to do my contour and the rest. I feel like I prefer you guys zoomed in, but I don't know. For bronzer, I'm just going to take this Miss Lynn bronzer and contour. It's actually a contour powder, I think. No, it's a bronzing and contouring powder, but I'm going to use it as a bronze. I mean a contour. Um, and I'm taking this on a Luxie 512 brush. And I'm just chiseling out my cheekbones, but like really lightly because I am quite dark. I don't need to, because I am quite tanned, I don't need to like really contour, but I'm just doing it because I want to. And then I'm going to go in with the Ambient Lightning Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light on a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH05. And because I'm not wearing blush, I'm going to bring this to my cheekbones. So with the leftover like bake I have, I'm just going to cut my cheekbones. For highlight, I'm going to take this Dolls Light Shine Bright Highlighter. It's so amazing. It's my like favorite highlighter. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to my cheekbones. I'm going to go really overboard. I'm using the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH09 brush. Now I'm going to add a brow bone highlight I'm using the Morphe MB16 uh, MB brush. So I'm putting it like pretty messily and then I'm going to go in with the blue brush and like blend it out. So now I'm going to spray my face with the MAC Fix Plus and then we will move on to the lips. So now that I've done that, I don't know what lips to do. I'm going to take my favorite lip liner. I did finish my other one, so I had to buy a new one. Oh wait, I have to tell you what it is. <laughs> this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner in Natural. my little combo so I'm taking the NYX Abu Dhabi lipstick uh, soft matte lip cream actually and then the Kylie Cosmetics um, exposed like matte lip so I'm going to start with my hair I need to move the table so BRB so I have my extensions that I need to apply and I also have my curl and the curler I use is the muck curl stick and I use the glove all the time because I do burn myself by the way this isn't my natural hair um, I mean it is my natural hair but it's straight <laughs> okay so I've just brushed my hair and now I'm gonna just section it I'm actually really really messy and I I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to hair because I don't really do my hair often unless I'm going out 
or else I just leave it natural. So I'm just gonna tie it up. I don't even know if this is straight and I kinda don't wanna even show you, but I've just like sectioned it like, like that. I just use my nails. And I'm gonna take the Zara, so I don't know what color I have. I don't know if it's like chocolate, but it is a little bit, like, I don't know. It's like a tad darker than my natural hair, but I don't really care. Um, Cause it is like going in like the mix of my hair. Um, but, this is the Zala hair extension and it's the five clip, if that makes sense. So there's like five clips. So I'm just gonna undo them. I always like just clip it like that, but I always start with the middle clip just to make sure it's at like the middle of my head. Just see how it looks. Because sometimes you can't see it sticking out. So you guys can see like the difference of colour. I do also have the highlights in my hair. They were caramel, I don't know if they still are, but put my curler, oh my god, this is so weird, I don't do hair. Um, on 170, which I don't know if that's really hot, but I do. I usually do 210, but oh well. I'm just gonna quickly brush through them. And how I like to curl my hair is I just section it into two, so like where my part is. And I'll just tie a part up. I don't do it in sections. I mean, I don't do it in layers. I just grab from the hair and behind and I work like that. So that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do like a little time lapse. So it is like much more quicker. And then I'm gonna go get dressed because I am, I am late. I was meant to be there at 11, that's 11.47, but that's fine. And yeah, as I said, I'm gonna do a time lapse because I wanna listen to music, so see you when I'm done.
say I'm not a professional with my hair curling, like I do not care about my hair as long as it semi looks alright, then that's fine. Okay, so I just finished my hair. It is a bit like puffy, but my hair, because it's really, really thin, it always drops. So I don't really worry about like it being too puffy for long. Um, and I also don't know if I'm wearing a hat, so that could also fix things. But so yeah, this is the completed video. I might um, add clips like at the end of this video to show like the festival or like my friends, whatever, I'm not too sure yet. But yeah, this was pretty much like the hair and the makeup. So if you guys like these videos and you want to see like more of like the get ready with me's, then please subscribe and like this video and like just let me know in the comments below or just by liking it. I don't really mind. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.